I think. It's called The Familiars. It's by Adam J. Espitine and Andrew Jacobson. And it's about this alley cat who got who gets um um miss I don't know what the word is misunderstood to be a fam and they think he's a familiar basically but he's actually just a normal alley cat and then somebody chooses him as a partner um so not now his partner and a bunch of other animals partners um a bunch of other familiars partners uh got stolen or kidnapped or something by an evil guy and now they have to get him back that's basically the story it's a really good book i recommend it just like i re recommend all the books on this list so next book, okay, so this is the next book, it's called Hilo, the Boy Who Crashed Into Earth, it's a comic, no, it's a graphic novel, and there's four different books, this is just the first book, I've got all four of the books, and I just keep waiting for more books to come out, it's really good, if you want like um, a book that will just uh, keep you for the afternoon entertained, this is a good book. It only takes a couple, like, half an hour to an hour to read. It's by Judd Winnie Kick Winnie K Winnick. Judd Winnick. Um, and, yeah. It's a really good book about a robot boy um, who crashes on Earth and doesn't remember who he is. It's really funny, really good. He finds these, um, this guy and this girl come and find him and they become his friends. And lots of cool stuff happens. So, yeah. So this is, um, uh, number four. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it's A Wrinkle in Time, probably Everybody has heard of this book because, you know, there's trailers and stuff. It came out a couple months ago, I think. Maybe like one or two months ago. I don't know. Um, and it's about this girl who um, has like a really high IQ but doesn't really do well in school. And um, a boy, he's a young boy named Charles Rollins, um, uh, he's really, really smart, though, and basically, the, um, the boy and the girl, ha uh, their father is missing, and these witches show up to take them on a magical journey to find the, him, and, um, it's a really good read. I really recommend it. It's by Madeline L. Engel. And, uh, yeah. Next book. Okay, so this, um, book, this is number three. It's Half Upon a Time by James Riley. It's a good book. It's about some gu a guy who lives in a fairy tale world. And a girl who lived in the real world, but kind of fell into the fairy tale world. It's weird. And, um, they have an adventure to find the girl's grandmother. There's, um, three parts in the series, probably more, but I'm, um, I only have three of the parts. I might have four. I can't remember very much, um, but, yeah, it's a really good book. Um, I recommend reading it right before bed or with your mom or something. So, so the second to, um, last book, number two, is The One and Only Ivan by Catherine Applegate. 
It's about these two um, animals and basically just a really fun story. It's really nice and simple. Um, I recommend it, of course. It's my number two favorite, so of course I'd recommend it. And of course it's got animals in it, which I love. Alright, on to the last book. So this book. is the last book I have today. Um, it's my number one favorite book. I don't have the um, right book with me, um, but it's Wings of Fire, book 10. This is Wings of Fire, the graphic novel. But um, I think I'm lending book 10 to somebody else right now, so that would make sense. But um, it's a really good book about dragons, and um, it's basically the best book in the entire world. You gotta read the whole series, though. It's a really good series, and they will be coming out with more graphic novels soon. So if you don't want to have to read through 11 books of amazingness, you can just read through the graphic novels, which um, there's only one up right now, but there will be more in the future. And uh, yeah. okay, everybody, that's it for today. I hope you like the video, of course. Um, thumbs up if you want me to do a top, five, um, top 10 books I hate. Sorry if this video is a little longer than usual. I'll try not to cut it in half, but I might have to. Um, and I will see you in um, the next video. Bye!